Hello friends, it's good to be back again, and so let's start. Knock knock. Who's there? Get me. Get me who? Get me out of quarantine and get me out of my house. Okay, let's roll the music. Depending on when your safer at home order took place, you may be tired of counting the days. It's nowhere near as fun or as pleasant like counting sheep. But according to a journal that I keep, earlier this week was day 55 of our lockdown. And that number reminded me of an old movie, 55 Days at Peking, starring Charlton Heston, who played a major in the US Marine Force, defending foreign embassies during a 55 day siege during the Boxer Rebellion in the summer of 1900 in China. And our current time of shelter in place reminds me of being under siege. The times have changed, or have they? Let's hear a familiar scripture passage from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verses one through nine. And this is from the classic King James Version. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. You remember the old days, mom and dads, one or both of them going to work each day. Kids in school, but not anymore. Many businesses are closed and people have found a new way of saving gas and having less stress on the interstates by working at home. Going to the beach or to the zoo or playing in a park. These are wonderful things to do, but not now because the times, they are changing. Families getting together to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, or even graduations, not now. Oh dear, what do we miss? And all this used to be normal, but not for now. The times, they are a changing. Sunday mornings used to find families getting ready to go to church, mom and dad to big church and kids to little church. But for now, we can just stay in our PJs and watch live streaming online. We can even sing aloud in our living room with the hymns and praise songs. Why is this happening? Because the times, they are a changing. Don't walk too close to your friend or neighbor. Just give an air hug or an elbow bump, but make sure your mask is on tight. It's never been this way before. Why are we doing this? Well, you know. Weddings are planned with only the bride and groom and the pastor in attendance. And someday they'll plan the receptions for later when it's safe to gather. And at the other end, a loved one dies and the family is filled with sadness. Arrangements for a service have to be postponed until the virus is gone and our lives can get back to some sense of normal, whatever that means. And that's what's happening to many families, including our own. And at a moment in time, a loved one is absent from the body and joyously present with the Lord. Life has changed forever. And we are reminded in the scriptures, there is a time to be born and there's a time to die. Does all this make us happy? Well, not really. But it does remind me that I am not in charge. God will see us and all of you through this difficult time in our lives and in our nation's history. Each day, Pastor Bill reminds us to read a psalm. Let me read the first two verses of Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. When I read, read these two verses, I get a beautiful picture of God coming to me 
and wrapping himself around me and holding me close to him. Let's pray. Dear God, you are worthy of our praise and our gratitude. With everything in us, we praise you. On days when we feel that we are at the end of ourselves because of all the changes in our world, remind us that we don't need to be perfect. When we strive for perfection, we fall short. But when we rely on you and not on ourselves, we see how great you are. Teach us to focus on you. You have promised perfect peace to those who focus on you. Help us to keep our thoughts on you. When we rush ahead to the next plan or responsibility, bring us back to you and your goodness and help us to fix our eyes on you when we experience fear or anxiety. Show us who you are and grow our trust in you. For the world may change, but you never change in your gracious love for us. We are grateful for the gift of peace we have in you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. At the end of the movie, 55 Days in Peking, when the siege is broken and the good guys have taken control of the city, Charlton Heston, as the major of the military forces, mounts his horse and gathers his men to leave Peking under new orders. But he stops and circles back to retrieve the orphaned young half-Chinese daughter of his Marine friend who was killed during the 55-day siege. He says to the girl as he reaches out, here, take my hand and he pulls her up on his saddle. Here, take my hand. Isn't that just like God, to offer us a new life when we feel that we're under siege? Regardless of what you're facing during this difficult time, a time of changes, remember, God does not change, and his wraparound presence will always be with you. Remember, above all else, even above quarantine, we choose Christ, and we choose Christ above all else. Wash your hands, read a psalm, and tell someone that you love them. God bless and bless you until we meet again. We love you. Bye-bye.